watching one apple picker. Welcome to the Did You Know Show. Today, on our first episode, we will be um, pretty much just talking about random items and our opinions. So, what should we uh, this is known as the famous uh, Fushigi Ball, Gravity uh, gravity Ball, as seen on TV. No copyright intended. Just, uh, so, sure. It comes with a small bag here, cloth bag, and the Fushigi Ball. Maybe it even has a, a few other things instead. So, uh, my first thoughts of this object, I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's different than any other ball. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lot heavier, uh, just something that's made. I mean, pretty much, uh, it's called, uh, contact juggling is the trick. But, uh, you can use any ball, but, you know, with this it looks more, you know, it looks more. Yeah, because, mostly because it, you can see it's, uh, reflective here. Yeah. yeah. It, no matter how many times you turn it, it's always going to be the same image. And that's the illusion of the Fushigi ball. Since it's reflexive, it's always going to look the same, and that's how you can manip manipulate it with your hands. And that's pretty much the trick. It's yeah, and the trick, the trick is it's pretty much what you do. I mean, the yeah. ball itself yeah. doesn't really, there's not really a special It's just a regular ball. Yeah. yeah. And it comes with the DVD instructions yeah. how to get started. Uh, Sadly, I don't have it with me now. Easy tricks to learn, so I mean it's a pretty good product. Yeah, and you notice how it almost looks like the metal ball is floating within the uh, plastic here. Yeah. I think the illusion is maybe the plastic is thick enough to where it's literally touching it, and it just looks like it. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No, that's a. I mean, you should check it out. I mean, uh, uh, nineteen ninety nine, isn't it? Or how much? Nine ninety nine? Yeah, I think it's like ten dollars. Ten dollars. It's not that expensive. Yeah. You Check it out, it's pretty neat. Yeah, they even have a glow in the dark one. So that that's pretty cool. I mean yeah. glow in the dark ones. Yeah. Awesome. It's all about you, it's not about the product. Yeah. You know, it's what you it's your skills. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna move on to the Xbox controllers here. Okay, if y'all have probably heard, I'm sure you have, uh, the new Xbox Slim has come out recently, two thousand ten or eleven or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just got the Slim uh, last Christmas, and it's it's really good. Um, the controller is overall somewhat better. Um, it's black, you know, it's all black. There's no, like, multicolor here. You can see how there's uh, shades of gray. There's, like, a light gray, dark gray, and then it's all white and stuff. Yeah, that's it isn't terrible, but you got some nice shiny, like, black. Yeah. And that's what makes it look better. It just looks more, like, today. Yeah, it looks more slim. Black is pretty much the new technological color. Yeah, and and I like how they bring back the Xbox, the the, the original Xbox color. Yeah. Because the original Xbox was originally black, so we yeah, haven't been able to bring that back. Yeah, and, and the cool. Xbox Slim, uh, the console itself, um, it's really good because instead of having to press a button, it's a touch screen. It senses your finger's warmth, and I tried using an inanimate object to turn it on, and it doesn't work. It literally senses the warmth in your fingers, and you barely go within a centimeter, and it turns on. And that's right. I think that's a really good feature, even the open and close trick. So it's touch sensitive. It makes it a lot easier to turn it on. Yeah. Um, anything else we had? Um, well, it's, it plays all the other. It plays every Xbox game. I mean, there's not really a difference. The only difference in the console is that it's it's pretty much easier to use, and the memory's built inside of it. Uh, yeah, it has built-in Wi-Fi. Yeah, built-in Wi-Fi. So pretty much, you can connect to your internet without any adapter. Yeah, you don't need uh, you don't need a fire like a uh, blue wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna move on to the next three. We're gonna add. Anything. And we're gonna next we're gonna compare Legos and Mega Blocks. Yes, Legos and Mega Blocks. The people people are always fighting about this. Um, it, which is better, Mega Blocks or Legos? Seriously, ask yourself that because. In my opinion, Legos are more classic. They're they're original, and I read on Wikipedia that uh, Lego tried to sue Mega Blocks, the company. They even tried to sue them, but you know it never happened. You know, Legos just because you know they look similar and they they're compatible with each other, 
The only difference is uh, Megabox, as you can see here, is more detailed compared to Legos. You know, but you know, Legos more classic. So here we have a Lego Halo Wraith. Um, I helped my brother build this. Uh, uh, what's different about Mega Blocks and one difference is that they actually build it all the way through. It's it's, it's completely solid all the way through. These are actually open. Yeah. They I open mean, up. And there's, yeah. There's like accessories and stuff too. Yeah. I mean, and this may not look like it's heavy, but this is this is about three pounds right here. So this it's, very heavy. it's not as heavy. It's kind of lighter. Yeah. yeah. This is like. Uh, and Lego likes to pay attention to very for, to, to to details. Yeah. Also, like I mean, well, not really like. Yeah. No, they don't look as good, but like, you know, Lego like they use the pieces to make details. These each piece has details on them. Yeah. See, there's a difference. The, these are individual pieces. This has less pieces than this. I I probably can guess that because uh, Mega Box has more bigger pieces that fit together than the smaller pieces that fit together. Yes. Um, um, there's less build building. Too. And this was taken from the, uh, the the Lego medieval village. Yeah, medieval market street, I guess, or yeah. market village. Uh, it's very. I mean, Le Lego really does a good job with the actual external details, especially the, the accessories. I mean, yeah. yeah, and just really how how they fit together and how they you, you can interact with them. Yeah, here's an example of a Lego minifigure. Um, I'm not sure if you have the Mega Box figure or not, but. Uh, I can tell you this, uh, I have to say that the, um, the Mega Bloks figures are somewhat better because they can bend their knees and elbows, but they're somewhat fragile if you're not yes, careful. Yes, very fragile. And you know, that's another difference. Mega Bloks are more fragile than Legos. Legos just lock together better. Yeah. 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 They're original. They were created first. Mm -hmm. I still like Mega Bloks. I have a few Mega Bloks sets myself. But um, Legos will probably be always be on top. Same for me. Yeah. I mean, my my brother bought bought that. I mean, I have a high of all Legos. I mean, Legos like they, they never let me down before. Yeah, they never. Yeah, and uh, another thing about a uh, Mega Box, I'm not trying to you know, downright nothing, but um, their buildings, they have a lot of vehicles. Their buildings, um, they're very like, there's very few. Like, you know, on the buildings, there's no walls. It's kind of just a base, like you said before. It's just a base with stuff on it. Uh, it's not horrible, but still, you know, there should be at least something, like the walls. Yeah, like, Lego likes to build walls with maybe, maybe like, uh, to take the roof off to plant side, or maybe an open-up thing like this. Yeah. But with the, with the Mega Box, usually it's only just a base plate. It's completely open. With, yeah, with like just stuff on it. Like yeah, and usually the, the superhero sets, which is the most buildings, it, it has a giant superhero head like Iron Man or Spider Man. And, you know, when you put that in your Lego City, it's kind of like, it's it you know, really it fitting. It looks ridiculous. Yeah, because if you have a giant head in a city, that's not very realistic. You know, you can't take it off because it's actually part of the structure. You take it yeah. off, it won't work. Yeah, it, it won't be that. Yeah. Unless you build something yourself. Yes. Anything else? Well, uh, so, in, in both of our opinions, Legos are better for uh, the actual, you know... Originality. Yeah. Playability. Yeah, yeah and then Megabox is good for, you know... Display. Uh, very close details. Yeah, and display. Like, yeah. It's mainly probably for that, too. Yeah. Uh, is that it? I think that's about it. Yeah, well... This is our first episode, so... Hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, uh, comment, and feel free to comment. Give us ideas. We need as many ideas as we can get. Just let us know what you want us to talk about, and we will. And we'll credit your your idea. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. So ready to start. Welcome to the. <laughs> okay. Can <I> start over. <laughs> What's the show? Did you know? Okay. I'll say welcome to the.